Hey everybody, Hart from My Heart Wine here. Hopefully you can hear me out along those noisy road here. Uh, but we're at the William Heritage Winery here in beautiful South Jersey. Uh, like I said, it's a little loud out here, so let's go inside and see what they have for us. Uh, yeah, let's go. So we're over here on the more quiet side of the vineyard after we left. Uh, I went inside and got a couple bottles of wine. Uh, they recommended the Cab Franc uh, and I got a nice cold bottle of Rosé. Uh, came out here amongst the Grenache grapes. Maybe we can get a, a close-up of some Grenache grapes here. Okay, obviously very early in the season here. Uh, fruit set's just kind of starting here, looking good though. All right. And those are obviously very young vines. They're very thin around the bottom there. Um, if I had to guess, they're probably around five years old. Uh, that's my own personal guess. Uh, William Heritage is located here on the outer coastal plains of New Jersey. Uh, it's one of our four AVAs. Although one of our AVAs actually has no vineyards in it, so it's a little little weird. We share that one with Pennsylvania, and then no New Jersey there. Um, and then I just walked over here to some Syrah grapes. So those of you who know me know I am in love with Syrah. Um, but you can tell, see, these grape, these vines are considerably older. You can see how thick around those that vine is there. Um, See if we need a little smaller grapes going on here. Uh, just sort of the beginnings of the Syrah. Older vines do produce a little less fruit usually, uh, but with more intense flavor. Oh, this is a big one over here. Huh? That one, look at this one. This one's doing great, huh? Yeah, it's going to be some lovely wine at some point in the future. Uh, it is super hot out here today. Okay. Like I said, super hot out here today. Uh, we're going to try some nice cold rosé first. Uh, kind of cooled me off a little bit. Uh, and then we'll try the Cab Franc, which she says uh, they're well known for. Okay, so our first wine today from the uh, William Heritage Winery uh, out here in the vineyard uh, among the Grenache is their estate grown rosé here from the Outer Coaster Plain. Uh, let's see if we can get in on a bottle shot there. All right, this is a 2019 rosé, 74% Merlot, and the rest is Cab Franc. All right, which the next wine we're going to be tasting is all 100% Cab Franc. So um, let's see how this is. It's like pretty cool. I like their logo. Uh, the back label has relatively little information. Uh, this is 11% alcohol. This should be pretty easy drinking. Um, great for a super hot Sunday afternoon here in New Jersey. That's uh, a little, little bit of bubbles forming on the glass there. It's a lovely aroma. Um, it's like stone fruit and strawberries. Mmm, that's beautiful. Hmm. Well, that's great wine. It's dry, uh, but still a great fruit character. Again, strawberry, uh, 
a little peach note uh, on the palate, but mostly I think strawberries. And the cap front's definitely giving it a just a touch of smoke. It's not really smoky though. Well, I'll have to delve into that a little further. I'm going to look at their notes uh, when I get a chance and see what they say. Uh, maybe there'll be an addendum to this video to, to talk about this a little bit more. This is a, a lovely wine. I highly recommend it. And uh, the people driving by. Well, that's going to require a little editing. We'll see how that goes. Um, it really can't keep from going back to the nose on this class. This uh, really has some some wonderful aromas on it. I can't quite put my finger on. I'm going to think about it a little bit more. And those cars just went by. I'm getting a little bit of dust uh, from the dirt road here now too. But That's an excellent wine. I highly recommend it. Okay, so our second wine today was recommended by the gentleman in the tasting room. Uh, it is the uh, William Heritage Cab Franc. Uh, and uh, just as a reminder, uh, William Heritage Farm here is a family-run farm. Uh, they started out with peaches and apples here and moved into grapes and wine. Uh, doing a lovely job here. So the Cab, the Cab Franc is 13.5% alcohol. Uh, it's very light in color, very pale ruby color, uh, actually like straight see-through, uh, even lighter than maybe a Pinot Noir, if you're a Pinot Noir drinker. It's a great uh, cherry raspberry on the nose. And again, just a little touch of that smoke. They're de-stemmed, so there's a little less of the uh, green, the perzines, uh, the green smell that sometimes you get with a lot of Cobb Franc. Uh, wow. It's another great wine. Uh, they're sort of famous for their BDX wine, which would be the Bordeaux blend. Uh, but the tasting room gentleman recommended this one. Uh, he said, you know, that's sort of the go-to uh, is the BDX, but this is uh, his personal favorite and I can see why. Uh, again, on the palate, more cherry raspberry flavors. soft but nice medium tannins uh, this would be great with burger or ribs on the grill uh, again perfect outside summer red you could even chill this a little bit if you wanted to uh, I wouldn't it's not my thing but um, you know I'm perfectly happy with a, a warm red wine on a summer day especially when it's this light can you see that let me get that a little closer see if you can see how light that is I lost a little bit of Sun maybe you can't see but uh, I can definitely tell why uh, this winery is getting such attention. Uh, it was New Jersey's Winery of the Year, uh, two years, uh, 2011 and 14. Uh, based on this, maybe again 2019 or 20. Who knows what's happening here in 2020? <laughs> but there's the 2018 Cobb Franc. Uh, if you have a chance to get down here and taste this, or they do, uh, I believe, ship here within New Jersey, this is really a, a lovely wine. I highly recommend it. I was going to get uh, four glasses. Four glasses for this one. Uh, I don't think I gave a rating to the other one. We'll say three and a half glasses for the rosé. Uh, but it'll, just a beautiful day here at William Heritage Winery. Come on out. They are taking reservations for their seating area, uh, which is why I'm out here in the vineyard filming this and not sitting at one of their lovely tables. They do have some tables and some music, entertainment, 
uh, got some cheese plates and charcuterie available uh, in the actual winery. But we're out here today because I did not make a reservation. Uh, but it's still a beautiful day among the vines here at William Heritage Winery. Let's take some additional B-roll here.